Hello, hello, how you guys doing? Welcome everyone, welcome. I can't believe it's Thursday already. Wow, time just flies, especially when you're having fun, when you're enjoying, when you're enjoying what you're doing, when you're living with joy and happiness, it just seems to fly by. You ever notice that when you're doing something you're not too excited about, perhaps just a grind type of thing, you're going through your day, you're going through your life, you're going through your work, you're just kind of almost like in a robotic state. Time just seems to stand still. You can't wait for that clock to ring at 12 o'clock for a break. You can't wait to go for the coffee break. You can't wait for the day to end. It's like non-ending, dragging, disgusting, right? <laughs> well, it doesn't have to be like that. That's what this whole week was about. It was dedicated to us committing to being happy and living with joy. This whole week was about discussing what it is that truly makes you happy inside. Makes you happy not based on what's going on outside of you, not based on what is to come for the day, but based on you deciding that you want to be happy, that you want to bring your best self and show up with your A game in everything you're doing. If it's work, if it's how you're presenting yourself to clients, if it's how you are with your spouse, if it's how you start off your day with your kids, it's how you approach taking care of yourself in terms of your health and happiness and, you know, doing a workout, eating certain foods that make you feel better. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's all that it is what makes life. All that is what makes it fun. All that is what makes it a joyous, happy vacation <laughs> called life, right? So today I wanted to speak to you about, and I wanted to share a tool that really, really changed my life and helped me understand and help me find that inner peace, that inner grit, that strength to be able to stay joyous and happy no matter what. It's a mindset thing. If you recall, if you guys watched the recording yesterday or were live with me yesterday, by the way, whoever is live, please say hello. Don't be shy. Just throw a comment in. Say, yo, what's up? You know, let's do it. Let's say hello. Um... For those of you who are going to watch the recordings, please, by all means, drop a comment, say hello. I want to hear from you guys. I want to know that this information is helping you or maybe it's not helping you. Maybe you want me to touch on something deeper. Please let me know. Okay. It's one thing I haven't figured out yet is how to be a mind reader. <laughs> so the only thing I can do is interact with you when you interact with me. And the only thing I can do is share more of the knowledge and awareness that I've gained if I know that you guys are, you know, watching, listening, learning, hearing. So please make it more interactive. Okay, that's done. Now, for those of you who saw yesterday or have watched the recording, we talked about the stick person, right? We, stopped, we talked about this. This was the image that we introduced yesterday for the mind. So when we talk about the mind, when we talk about having pure joy and happiness and peace inside your mind, hey Anna, how you doing? Um, what it means is we're talking about the conscious subconscious mind. We're talking about what's going on in your belief system, in your programming, right? So I brought that back today in a different image, a little bit cleaner, as you can see, without all that nonsense and writing that I did, which is not nonsense at all. It was key points for you to integrate into your life and understand how you can shift what's going on from outside of you to what's happening inside. I want to do a little recap for this week. We talked about number one process of changing your behavior and your set conditional thinking was gratitude. Right? In the units, you'll find the recordings of each day. In the units, you'll find the exercises or some of the stuff that I plucked from the implementation guide to help you understand. Like the importance of gratitude and then the gratitude pad where you can write down the 10 things you're most grateful for 
for either what's in your life or what is to come to your life, right? You got to be grateful for it because that sends a signal to the universe and allows it to come to you. Then the next day we shared serenity. Last chapter from As a Man Thinketh by James Allen. Serenity. Calmness of mind is one of the beautiful jewels of wisdom. Calmness of mind comes when you understand your mind and we can, you can relate to what's happening to your thinking on a conscious level and then how it transcends over to your subconscious so it can run your day. So it can be in charge of the thing you call a body, the instrument you live in while you're here in this world and how you interact with the world or others in the world. Right? Yesterday, I shared with you guys what the mind is all about, the conscious subconscious, how you have six higher faculties. You have your imagination where you can build the life that you want. You can stay focused on that and only that through your will. You can create different thinking of how you go about your day through your reasoning factor. Your reasoning factor can be guided by your intuition, where you pick up signals from the universe based on what you decided you want through your imagination and your will, not through what the news told you or what Trump is saying or what a bunch of other BS that surrounds you every day says, right? So, and then there was the last two which we grouped together, which was your perception. What is your perception? What do you perceive to be real or not real in your life? Do you perceive money as being a challenge and a hard thing to acquire and wealth and abundance is only for hard work till you drop dead and you have to work 24 7 every day because that's not so true i know a lot of people who are working less than a couple of hours a day maybe three four times a week and they're making millions how's that possible isn't that a little different perception that they built in their life because they found different sources of income and they found a different system that took all those limiting beliefs and the you know BS rules that we've been taught in school, like get a good education, get a degree, get a good job, and you'll be safe. No, there's no safety. Corona showed that. The only safety, my friend, that you have is between your ears, in your mind, when you understand this. And today I want to talk about the biggest factor which is your self-confidence which is actually a result of your self-image you see your self-image is something that you hold in here it's a pattern this is your pattern in here it's a self image your self-image dictates what you believe or don't believe you're going to be able to do your self-image controls how much you think you'll earn what kind of health do you think you're going to have? What types of foods you're going to eat? What kind of people you're going to attract in your life? What kind of relationship you're going to have in your life? Your self-image controls a lot of things. That's why one of the most important things is to go and discover how to change your self-image, which is later on today, I'm going to be sharing with you an opportunity for us to dive in deeper together on some of this information that I've shared with you. And one of the biggest things that I work with with people is to change their self-image because you can never outperform your self-image. Whether you, Henry Ford said, whether you believe you can or believe you can't, you're right. Your self-image determines if you believe you can or believe you can't. So which one do you want to be in life? Do you want to be that joyous, happy person who always believes that they can because they understand that they're infinite and they have amazing power to them? And through understanding how the whole creation process works, they can understand that by holding a positive thought on a daily basis based on their joy and happiness, they can be um, you know, in line with positive thoughts, they can accept positive information, they can look for the good in their life and seek more good. And that automatically through repetition, as you continue on and on believing and thinking about it, right? It sets as a positive idea running in your subconscious mind, which changes your automatic programming, which ultimately creates a new reality, because this controls what body 
vibration will be in. What kind of mood are you going to be in? If you see a person and they say, oh, I feel good today, what they mean is they're in a positive vibration. If they say, ah, I feel bad today, I don't know, today is not a good day, what they're trying to tell you is that they're in a negative vibration. And guess what? You put negative in here, which creates a negative vibration here, which makes you feel negative. You're not going to take good actions in order to produce the results that you want in your life. And this is what we shared yesterday. I just wanted to recap that because of the importance of it. Self-confidence helps you build that bulletproof attitude, that amazing self-image of yourself, where you get to see yourself as the person you want to be. Because certain things you decide you want in your life, you don't attract to you what you want. You attract to you what you are. You don't attract millions to you because that's what you want. You attract millions to you if you internally feel that you are a millionaire. And you start acting like a millionaire. You start behaving like a millionaire. You start taking actions that a millionaire would take. And ultimately, you produce the results of the money in your bank account or wherever else it shows up. So you don't attract to you what you want. You attract to you what you are. Me being the health guy that I am, I'm going to refer to that. You don't attract to you the body that you want and release the weight that you want. You build the self-confidence that you can do it. You build an image, a self-image of the person you want to become. And then what happens is that self-image, those thoughts of the person you want to become, start getting ingrained in your subconscious mind, which automatically control the actions that your body moves into. And now you're going to be more picky with what you eat. You're going to be more aware of what you're doing or not doing for your body. You're going to move into action and exercise because you understand that the action you take creates the results in your life. So you see how this relates to everything in your life? You want a great relationship? You want to have a deep, meaningful, loving relationship with your family, your spouse, your friends, your relatives, your clients, your employees, employers? doesn't matter. It's all relationships. You have to become that person, not try to seek it. Because we attract to us what we are, not what we want. So if we are in a positive state of vibration, if we are the person who has amazing relationships, if we are the person who knows how to hug and give love and show love and be happy, we continuously move into that type of vibration, making it an automatic running program in our subconscious mind, which moves our body into action along the lines of what's going on here. And then we ultimately take actions like expression of love, like connecting through follow-ups and, you know, um, nurturing our clients and our, our associates and having a good relationship with everyone. And we ultimately produce the result in the life that we want. So today, like I said, I want to talk about self-confidence and then we're going to get into the offer that I'm going to make. For those of you who have joined me, for those of you who are joining me live, and for those of you who have watched the recordings, um, I'd be happy to work more in depth with what you want to create. You know, simply get on a call and just see where you're at, what it is that you want to create. One of the biggest things is having the ability to make that decision, that you no longer want to live your life necessarily the way it is. You might be seeking something a little bit bigger, a little bit better, maybe perhaps create some more in your life. Well, all of that can be done through what we were discussing this week. And I'd be happy to get on a call with you and share some more information about that. And then we'll talk about that. Now, self-confidence formula. This actually comes from Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. But a good friend of mine who happens to be very, very talented in writing Together, we came up with a little bit of a variation of it. So we changed some wording around to make it all in the positive, um, up-to-date type of language. Because there were some inclinations of a negative being in there, and we don't deal with that. So the self-confidence formula simply goes like this. I know that I have the ability to live my purpose. 
to achieve my goal, taking persistent, continuous, confident action towards the attainment of the goal, and I commit daily to action, right? So if you know you have that ability through understanding what we're talking about, then you have that ability to be able to take confident action in a happy state, in a pure joyful state towards the attainment of your goal, you commit yourself daily to doing such action. Second part is, I realize that the dominating thoughts, the dominating thoughts of my mind transform themselves into physical reality through action. My dominating thoughts transform themselves through action into my results. You see how the creative process works here? So I realize that the dominating thoughts, whether they're negative or positive, so we're going to work on the positive. We don't bring up the negative. We're going to stay away from that part of you. Transform themselves into physical reality as in results through action. I concentrate my thoughts, I concentrate my thoughts every day on the person I am growing into. Creating a clear mental picture, seeing what you want through that imagining, imagination factor of yours. Clear mental picture of this person, thinking, feeling, and acting as the person you want to become. I know that through the principles of auto-suggestion, which is the thoughts that you keep repeating to yourself, that image that you build, the thoughts that you tell yourself, the, the, the life you want to create, the self-image you want to build, you continuously keep focusing on that until it becomes a running program in your subconscious mind. That's the power of repetition. So through auto-suggestion to yourself, any desire, any desire <laughs> persistently held in the mind seeks expression through practical means. Therefore, I demand of myself goal achieving self confidence. Because if you believe the positive type of image that you build in yourself and focus on can eventually take force and place in your subconscious mind instead of the block that you live in and the blocks and the image that's holding you back, you eventually move your body into action and create those results. Next one is, I accept that wealth and position endure when built on truth and justice. I engage only in transactions that benefit all whom, I, whom they affect. I succeed by attracting to myself the forces I wish to use and the cooperation of other people. My service to others causes others to serve me. I eliminate hatred, envy, jealousy, selfishness, cynicism, and doubt by developing love and compassion for all humanity, including myself. I know that the negative attitude towards others or myself can never bring me success. I cause others to believe in me because I believe in them and in myself. Remember, you attract to you what you are, not what you want. So if you believe in yourself, if you feel the love and joy and happiness in yourself, you will attract to you all those things because they're in the same vibration as you. Now imagine if you're caught up with negative thinking in here. You start thinking about all the things that are not working out in your life, not going right in your life, maybe not being happy in your life. And all of a sudden, that is what keeps repeating over and over and over. And guess what? That becomes a running program, a negative running program in your subconscious mind. That's like an autopilot. It's set. It's going. Remember, I told you guys, the subconscious mind doesn't have the ability to reject. It must accept all information. So if you're caught up with negative thinking, if you're caught up with that, where's the part where it says, <laughs> I, I succeed, by, um, I eliminate, so you eliminate hatred, uh, envy, jealousy. 
Imagine you're caught up with jealousy, with selfishness, with hatred, with envy. Imagine what that does to you. If that's the constant feeling and thought in your mind. It sets your body into a negative vibration, causes negative action, and ultimately causes negative results. Right? Now, the idea is that you eliminate that because you move into love and compassion for all people, understanding that you're one and the same, connected to everything and everyone. And then by having that control your thinking, which is the positive side. So we're going to eliminate the negative. We're going to eliminate it here and we're going to eliminate it here. And we're going to go back to the positive. And then the positive starts producing the results that you want. Right? Um, and the last part of it says, I signed my name to this formula and committed to memory and repeated daily with full faith that it will influence my thoughts, my feelings, my actions, so that I grow into the self-reliant, goal-achieving, successful person that I am. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? So that's the self-confidence formula. You tell yourself exactly what you want. You build an image of what you want. You repeatedly move it into your subconscious mind by auto-suggestion, eliminating those sensory factors we talked about yesterday. And then you move into action on a daily basis towards the result that you want. Because remember, success is progressive realization, progressively moving towards the realization of the good that you want. Right? So I hope that makes sense. Now, what I wanted to talk to you guys about, hopefully you guys can see this and it made sense what I was covering there. What I wanted to also do is talk to you a little bit more about how you can get more into depth with this type of information. Um, it all comes down to one thing, guys. It's, it's all about a decision. If you make a decision that you want to change the way your life is going, change what's happening in your life because of certain conditions or circumstances or something that's ultimately stemming in your results, but it's coming from your thinking. And in order to do that change, in order to become something more than what you um, ultimately thought you can be, is you got to gain awareness. You got to study. You got to invest energy and time and effort and money into your own growth. I guarantee you that if you don't invest in yourself in terms of energy, time and money to grow, your self image will not grow. Your self image is built long time ago when you were a little child by the things that were implanted in your subconscious mind, right? Because up to the age of six or seven, we only have the subconscious mind. It's open up here. So everything our parents told us, our grandparents told us, whatever we picked up on the radio, on the news, if you grew up in times when it's rough times, rough environment, you know, depression, recession, whatever it is, that's all in your subconscious mind. That's the program you're running with. That's the program that's got that self-image built. So now when an opportunity presents itself that you can have anything you want, and all of a sudden... I'm not taking that opportunity because my programming, my self-image tells me, mm, no, 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 I'm not, I can't do that, right? Because that's the belief system you have that you can't. Well, I'm here to tell you through experience, <laughs> a lot of experience, a lot of study, a lot of understanding that there's no such thing as can or can't. There's only want or don't want. So the next time you believe you can't do something, try this on for size. You live in a world where we took a can, a metal can, we put 300 people in it and we flew it through the sky like a bird and it stayed up. How's that possible? Because there are certain governing laws like the law of lift 
that actually supersedes the law of gravity. I'm sure you've heard of gravity. That's what keeps you on the earth. So obviously you can do that. How about the fact that we can come up to a wall, hit a switch, and all of a sudden there's light. We live in that kind of world. A world which has stars and galaxies and everything around. We live in a world where we exist on a planet that's 4.6 billion years old. A ball of dirt spinning in the middle of nowhere. Please, please understand there's no such thing as can or can't. There is only want or don't want. And that again, my friend, resides on a decision. If you make a decision that you want to change any part of your life, that trifecta that we talked about, which is your health, your relationships, and your finances, if you want to make a change in those, you simply make a decision. And when you make that decision, you flip the frequency from 99.9 to where you want to go, such as that 104.5 that I was talking about this whole week. I just related to radio frequencies because everyone has a radio or at least have seen a radio in their life. Nobody knows what the hell we're talking about when it's vibrations, levels, this, frequencies, quantum physics, lost. So keep it simple. You want to change what's playing in 99.9? You have a dial. Unfortunately, nobody gave you the manual of how to use the radio. So you don't even know what dial to press. But there is that manual. And that's what I want to offer to you guys today is the manual, the instruction, the blueprint of how to use that dial so you can change your frequency from 99.9 where you are right now, where the results might not be exactly where you want them to be and tune yourself onto 104.5 where all the magic is, the joy, the happiness, the music, the sounds, the lights, the abundance, the frequency, the love, the relationships, the clients, the leads, the whatever you want to call it, whatever is happening in your life, it's all controlled by what's happening inside of you. And in order to repair that, in order to correct that, in order to reveal the magic that's inside of you, you got to understand how it works. And the only way to understand how it works is to either Spend the rest of your life searching for stuff on YouTube and gathering all the knowledge and awareness that you can possibly find out there, which I've tried, guys, and I'm here to tell you it does not work because more knowledge is not the answer. More knowledge is not your problem. You can have all the knowledge you want in your conscious mind, which picks up on what you saw on YouTube, which picks up on all the Tony Robbins uh, Bob Proctor, uh, Wayne Dyer, Zig Ziglar, Jim Rohn, and uh, you know uh, uh, Joe Dispenza, and a million other amazing teachers, which I love them all. I've studied all their information. It's amazing, but it's all here. It's all here. It doesn't change anything here because you got that block. Because you got that line, that line that separates what you know and what you do. Hey, Carla, how are you? How are you? Carla, thank you for joining us. There's a separation in all of us from what we know and what we do. And that separation is that line that separates the conscious mind that's always picking up new sh stuff. <laughs> And the old programming that is not allowing any of that nonsense to come. It's called a paradigm. Self-image is a paradigm. Self-image is in full control of your body and the actions that you take. Because you can only take actions. You live in a physical world. You live in a physical body. So the only way to take any action is to move into action. How do you move into action? You pick up the phone. You write something down. You think. You talk. You present. But it's all physical. How do you take it from here and move it into here? You can't because you have a block. You have a box that holds you locked in to your old programming. Old programming. And this is what I want to help you guys with. This is what's helped me change my entire life. 
everything from the most incredible health and body that I'm living in to amazing relationships to an incredible family life to just being a happy joyous person based on my own thinking not someone else's thinking because I changed the box that was holding me locked because I started understanding how all of this works so if you think and believe that you just randomly pick up information it's not gonna work man it only took effect in my life after studying it for over 10 years once I seeked out a mentor that said hey buddy how's it going how are those results in your life coming along with all that incredible knowledge that you're aware of? And I was like, mm -mm, they're okay. Well, they weren't okay. I was lying to myself and I was lying to, to, to my mentor until he said, listen, listen to me carefully. You have certain paradigms in you. You have certain limiting beliefs in you that you cannot see because you're in the picture. You need to be able to step outside of the picture and be able to see and notice what is up. And that's where a mentor comes in. You see, a mentor doesn't share the same limiting beliefs as you. A mentor doesn't work with the same self-image as you. A mentor doesn't have the same blocks and ideas and nonsense going on in their head as you do. They might have other stuff going on in their head. That's besides the point. That's a work in progress. But they are aware and can see what is going on in your picture. And they can point that out. That's where coaches do. Coaches don't necessarily play the sport. You don't get a basketball coach to be the best coach in the world because he used to be the best basketball player in the world and became a basketball coach. That's a bunch of BS. That's a stupid system designed to program. He can be the most amazing coach never having to play the game once because he understands the mechanics of the game and more importantly he understands the thinking process of his players and he understands the camaraderie that can be done between the players when their mindset is right and then he can have a even an associate that helps with the dribbling part and all of a sudden that becomes a champion team. So here's the offer. The offer is, I'm going to switch this so you guys can understand what some of the benefits are for us working together. Okay? I hope you guys can read this because there's a bunch of chicken scratch there, right? So <laughs> excuse the, the, the writing. Number one, by working together, I can help you discover what you truly want. Discover what you want. What do you want? What do you want to achieve? What do you, where do you want to get in your life? Are you, are you just satisfied where you are? I mean, if you're 120 and about to die and you're happy with where you are, fantastic. But if you got another 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years to go, how could you be happy with just where you are? You're here to grow and expand and live a life of freedom and abundance and joy and more happiness so you can share it with others. So by, by having a definiteness of purpose, a clear idea of what you want and we discover what your purpose is then you can attain it through a proven methodology and that's what I learned that's what my mentor taught me and together with my mentor we'll be able to teach you by going through a methodology that's been proven to work hundreds of thousands of times right we're gonna transform your limiting beliefs and blocks to turn on your automatic success mechanism that circle that I drew that conscious subconscious that's an automatic success mechanism you lock into what you want and all of a sudden you'll be able to do anything you want you'll be able to achieve what you want because you have an automatic success mechanism the problem is is that right now it's being blocked by limiting beliefs and by certain programs that are not serving you right you're gonna be able to tap into your infinite power through the understanding of the operations of your mind if you think you understood everything about your mind just because we watched it or covered it in 
10 minutes today and 10 minutes, 20 minutes yesterday. No, that's not how it works. You need to constantly be working on your awareness and understanding. There's a reason why when you read a book a second time, a third time, a fourth time, your understanding of the information in the book, your ability to pick up more of what the author was trying to tell you shows up because the book hasn't changed. The writing hasn't changed, but you changed. So the next time you see the stick person, the next time we speak, and I welcome you to get on a call, no strings attached. I'm not here to push you on anything, sell you on anything. I just want to help you discover what your goals are, talk about that, and then help you design a blueprint to get you from where you are to where you want to go. And that's exactly what is what you get as a benefit by having a coach and a mentor take you through the process that has helped him or her achieve the results that they want. And now they can share to others and are able to actually teach it to others. A big difference on that one, right? So the fourth thing that you'll benefit from us connecting is we're going to redesign your self-image, the one I just talked about today. We're going to help you redesign that self-image and your character so you can finally become the goal achiever you were always meant to be. When we come into this universe, into this world, into this physical realm, we come knowing that we bring with us infinite power and we have the right to connect to it at any time because we've been given a mind that is a con continuous connection with it. The problem is, is when we have those blocks, when we have those limiting beliefs, when we have that self-image that's not allowing it, you're simply blocking the energy from flowing in. There's no such thing as positive energy, negative energy. There's only positive energy that flows from the universe and is either going in and coming and doing its thing or being blocked by your thinking. And that's what we help you uncover. What are those thinking? What is that self-image? What are those blocks? Redesign those blocks so they can now allow the energy to flow through you, move you into action, create the results that you want. Right. The other thing that's going to be, uh, become with it, and this is, I don't want to swear online, but I fell in love with this word and I'm working diligently every day since I discovered it. A good friend of mine named Vishen Lakani from Mind Valley found out about this word, shared it with everybody. It's online. It's not something I created and I love the meaning behind it. You're going to become unfuckwithable. <laughs> Okay, what does that mean? It means you're no longer going to let anything get in the way of your happiness, your success, and living the life that you deserve. That is unfuckwithable. When you stop letting everything control your thinking, everyone control and tell you what you can or cannot do, everyone who seems to give you their opinion, because you know, your neighbors would love to give you opinions that the cheapest, most abundant, uh, like bountiful commodity there is on earth. Everyone will give you their opinion. So what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't make any difference in your life. When you allow it to control your thinking, then you actually become the opposite of that word. <laughs> and you actually become effable by everything around you. So we're going to teach you how to become uneffable. Hope you, know, you understand that. Right? And live the happiness that you deserve to live with every single day. And so does everyone in your life deserve the same thing. Your family should benefit from your happiness and your joy and your successful uh, success. Your relatives, your friends, they should all benefit from that. Your clients, the people you serve should definitely benefit from the joy and happiness and talents and ability that you have in you that are naturally ingrained there, right? And the other thing that you're going to get by us working together and connecting is a guaranteed success by being invaluable to others and form an alliance so that you can quantum leap yourself as well as others in perfect harmony.
Imagine if you learned the habit and ingrained in your subconscious mind the habit of leaving every person you come in contact with with the impression of increase. Making their life better simply by becoming a part of their life or just running into them today. Imagine what that can do towards your success in your life. And imagine if you form an alliance with like-minded people and work in complete harmony to take you to the next level of what you believe or don't believe you can do. You're going to quantum leap your results. You're not going to go from A to B to C. You're going to jump from A to like whatever you want. You're going to go from 99.9, not to 101.1, 101.2, 101.3. Man, you can spend your whole life doing that. You're going to jump right to 104.5 where everything you want exists. And you do that through a methodology that's been proven hundreds of thousands of times all around the world in all types of cultures, ethnicity, religion, 